Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be sharing how to edit vertical videos to help promote your online shop. If you go over to window and then workspaces and hit vertical, this is the default layout of the vertical workspace. And it's my favorite for editing. I prefer to start with my voiceover because then I know what to edit to. There's a few things that I like to check before I get started. So I go over to Premiere Preferences Audio Hardware. You can see here that my microphone is there, so that's working. And then if you also go over to the Audio Preferences, you want to make sure you have this selected, the mute input during timeline recording. If you don't have that selected, you're going to hear your recording as you're recording it. Once that's selected, there is already this little cute little button here, voice over record. And all you have to do is click that. Then as soon as you hit the space button on your keyboard, it will stop. That track gets automatically added to your project. Once I have a take that I really like, we can go over to the text editor and go into the transcript and edit the transcript using the text space editing. Here, if you see the these three dots there's 0.3 seconds and you know what having extra seconds not really necessary so the cool thing is we can just highlight that ellipses and remove it by clicking delete the next thing that i like to do is pop over to my footage i'm just gonna hit shift and select all of that footage and just drag it into my sequence the sequence settings that I'm working on right now are 1080 by 1920 because if you're working on vertical videos for social media, you need to export them at that scale anyway, because if you export them higher, they're just going to get compressed and be heavy files and look just not as good as they could. I'm going to select the sequence, not the clip and hit M. And now I have a little marker there just so I know that that's where I want to add a clip. This is the process that I go through. I look at all my clips and then decide which ones I'm gonna use. So I would just cut using the razor tools. And from here, I just click and drag just from the image and drag it over to my sequence. So these are the selections I ended up making that go along with my narration. In this one, it was so much about the storytelling that the music is just kind of like a little bit of a vibe in the background. So I bring that in, I just select and drag it in. This is what you're gonna look for, the essential sound panel. Then you can go to preset and hit balance background music. And it's automatically gonna make it sound just softer and be kind of underneath any of your narrations. Select duration right here and then hit remix. And now you can set the target duration. So my ideal duration, according to my narration, is about 41 Whoa. seconds. Premiere Pro is looking at my clip, analyzing and remixed it. And now it's a lot shorter. I'm gonna leave it at that and show you a little bit of what I do over on the color editing side. I hit new item, adjustment layer, 1080 by 1920 sounds fabulous. I tend to rename it like color edit. Drag it in and I place it and it seems like nothing, absolutely nothing happened. Then I go into Lumetri color, which is already right here. And if you don't see it, just go into window and make sure you have it opened up. Make any edits to the color on this adjustment layer. It's gonna affect everything below it. That's kind of handy to quickly edit everything at once. And then what I like to do here is make my captions. I go over to text and it already auto transcribed it. Then what I like to do is hit captions, create captions from transcript. I go to maximum length down to 10, let's say minimum duration. I like like right there is fine. And then lines I hit single, I hit create captions and it automatically just generates those captions for me. And once you have it in a good place, all I do is hit this push to track or style and it applies it to all captions in the track. Get the popcorn yes. quickly and yes, let's, yes. Uh, let's see what you've created for us. I finally opened up my own print shop. Even though I always wanted to do this, I never knew where to begin. So this time I went back to my sketchbook and found these drawings from my trip to Paris earlier this year. And I was like, why don't I actually use these for something instead of letting them rot in my sketchbook? I started off by redrawing them so I could get cleaner scans and bringing them into Photoshop to clean them up. And after a few design iterations, changing layouts and colors and testing prints, I finally landed on two collections that I really, really love. One is more minimal with just hints of color and another one is a pop collection where it's just tons of clashing colors and I really, really love them. They're all so fun and if you want one or maybe four for your home, you can now grab these over on my shop.